flying through the <laughs> national capital today and also first <laughs> in Melbourne. Mostly really sunny in Darwin and Perth. A three-day <laughs> unconditional ceasefire will come into force in Gaza in the next few hours. It's been agreed to by all sides and was announced in a joint statement on behalf of the UN and the US Secretary of State. While the ceasefire holds, negotiators for Israel and Hamas will head to Egypt for peace talks. It comes after the White House declared Israel's showing of the United Nations school in the Gaza Strip totally unacceptable. Well, for more, let's cross straight now to our North American correspondent, Lisa Miller. Lisa, we've all seen these horrifying images out of Gaza, in particular over the last three weeks. There have been a number of ceasefires talked about. Why is this one, the announcement of this one, significant? Well, it's been, the day has been long, both in the Middle East and here in the US, because it started with a UN Security Council meeting where they were given some more facts, statistics, just how many children, 251, had been killed. 80% of those who were dying were civilians. It clearly had a big impact. The UN spokesman, John Kerry, who's in New Delhi, making this announcement just in the last... 30 minutes or so. It is significant. They say 72 hours isn't a magic number they just pulled out of the air. Uh, they didn't feel that a 24-hour ceasefire was going to be enough to give them that time to get people to Cairo to get into these talks, which they hope are then going to give space for a more sustainable ceasefire. So what they 